special meeting. Good evening. Please stand and join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Father, we ask you to guide us in this meeting so we may be united in the spirit, spirit of mutual respect and in the healthy exchange of our ideas. Help us to work together for the good of all in our community. Amen. Also pursuant to the 2015 bylaws, rules, and regulations of the Board of Chosen Free Orders of the County of Burlington, County, time shall be set aside on the agenda for the receipt of public comments. Public comments will be received with respect to agenda items prior to board consideration of resolutions to be adopted. An additional opportunity for public comment will occur later in the meeting. Public comments shall be limited to five minutes per speaker. Unused time may not be transferred to another speaker. Persons may speak once per public comment period. I direct the deputy clerk to enter into the minutes of this meeting this public announcement and the advance written notice of this meeting. Freeholder Belgard. Here. Freeholder Donnelly is absent. Freeholder Gardetto. Here. Freeholder Schwartz. Here. Director O'Brien. Here. Before we start, I'd like to thank the Borough of Palmyra for hosting our pre meeting this evening. I know a lot of work goes into these meetings, basically behind the scenes. So thank you for accommodating us tonight, and thanks also to our staff uh, for making this special meeting possible. Uh, begun by Freeholder Donnelly as part of his transparency plan when he was director in 2013, these roadshow meetings provide residents from across the county with the opportunity to see firsthand how county government functions and to learn more about the important services that we provide. I know that I speak for the entire board when I say we're all very happy to see Freeholder Donnelly's initiative continue. And we're glad to be here in Palmyra tonight. Thank you all again. And with that, let's get started. So I'll be looking for approval of the minutes of the special meeting of September 30th and of the conference meeting of September 21st, 2015. So motion by Freeholder Belgard. Second. Second by Freeholder Gargano. Any questions? Any additions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The minutes are approved. Uh, now we'll move on to public comment on agenda items. At this point in the meeting, public comment is limited to items that are on tonight's agenda. Anyone who wishes to speak on any other topic will have a chance at the public comment section later in the meeting. Do we have any public comments on agenda items at this time? If I may. I don't have anything to say about an agenda item, but I was given an opportunity to, to speak to you for just a moment. To welcome you on behalf of the Borough of Palmyra, I'm Councilwoman Michelle Arnold. It's a pleasure and an honor to have you here. I know that a lot of work goes into preparing these meetings to go on the road, so it is much appreciated. So I wanted to take just two minutes to tell you just a little bit about Palmyra and how proud we are here of our borough. Palmyra was originally created in 1694 and originally incorporated in 1798. So we are rich here in Palmyra, not only in history, but in resources. We have quite a variety of businesses here in the borough. Of course, our location is fabulous. We have a lot of opportunity here. I have taken the opportunity also to speak to some of the local business owners. And if you'll all just take a minute to see some of the brochures and information that they've provided for us outside. But we do have a lot to offer here in Palmyra. And again, my warm welcome. Thank you. Are there any other public comments on agenda items? Okay, seeing none, uh, we will move on to our resolutions. 
I'd like to make a motion that we approve resolutions G1 through G17 by unanimous consent. Do I have a second? Second. By Freeholder Gargano. Are there any questions? I have a couple questions. Okay. Let's go right ahead. Okay, on G1 with regard to the payment of bills. <coughs> Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, the first one's easy. On page 22, Camden County College. I need to recuse myself. Page 22, um, do you have legal bills today? I do. Excellent. Uh, page 20, this is going so smoothly tonight. <laughs> page 28, uh, Command Company. I have to recuse myself, so not really a question. Page 57, uh, Glammy and Giorgio. I think I always say that wrong. $79,650.50 for the county college. What is that for? Um, this is basically for engineering, uh, for architectural services out of the college. Um, and is this something that we are reimbursed for? Yes, to our debt service. This is a bond that uh, the county puts out and then the uh, college reimburses us through their uh, debt service payment. That is what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. Um, and then page 62, Matthew Bender and Co., $14,064. I'm not exactly sure what that's worth. That's so, the library at the jail, I think. Matthew Bender and Company? Yes. Um, this is for the jail, and this is paid out of the uh, inmate welfare fund, and this is has to do with uh, the law library. It is the law library within the jail. This was IT equipment that was purchased on that behalf. Okay, so IT equipment in the law library? In the jail. Yeah, okay. All right, that is all that I have. Great. I will be abstaining on page 72, New Jersey Partner Funds. Right. I will be abstaining with regard to Colonial Village Catering. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so do we have any other questions? Okay, uh, hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And, and then abstentions as noted. Okay. Moving on to the people of the Thank you, Director. At this time, I will be bringing this consent of resolution uh, G18. Um, motion by Freeholder Donnelly, second by Freeholder uh, Hogarth. Um, any questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? <coughs> Ayes have it. Uh, we move on to uh, Deputy Director Gargano. Thank you, Director. I'd like to make a motion to approve items G19 through G27 by unanimous consent. A motion by Deputy Director Gargano, second okay. by Freeholder Donnelly. Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Ayes have it.
all the freeholders, um, just in base of the comments and things that have been said, seem to be behind that. I think it really means a lot to the residents um, in Wellington County. Um, one thing I did, um, now I know that you have a meeting scheduled with the acting commissioner of the Department of Transportation. Yes. I um, was also wondering about federal funding that might be available, and I saw something today. The Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, they are working with the Build America Transportation Investment Center in terms of public-private partnerships. And I saw today there's a webinar on November 4th, and they're actually talking about how PennDOT has done a lot of rehabilitation and rebuilding of their bridges. So I was glad to see that today. I don't know if you guys would have interest in that, but I can send information that I saw on that and send it over to Eric, just you know, if you're interested in, in seeing that. I thought, um, I, mean, I know it's hard for the state, we don't have money, but I think if we were able to see what Pennsylvania is doing, they're right next door, that might be helpful as well. And I'll make sure I share the same information with the representatives at the state level. Um, and again, I just want to ask if we possibly can get some sort of information to the residents about the state of infrastructure in our county. But I think people need to realize it's more than just a synonym bridge. It really is a state and county issue. And I think if people really knew how bad it was, not saying any fault of anybody, it's just the way that our country is in general, and just, um, I mean, it's hard. I didn't realize how, how bad things were until I started doing research. But I think if people really understood kind of the dire state that we are right now, that you really could get a lot more support around um, how we're going to fund the New Jersey Transportation Trust Fund. Not saying it has to be gas tax or what have you, but just how everybody on both sides of the table can kind of get together and figure out how we can address this. So I thank you again for your support and I thank you again for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Eric, uh, sorry, and when, when you get that email, can you just forward it to all of us? Of and I was going to suggest that maybe what we could do, um, sort of along the lines of what Ms. Howard just suggested, is maybe down the line with some meeting we could have uh, our engineer do a presentation on uh, the state of the infrastructure, sort of what we've had going on and what, what is proposed to go on in the future here in Burlington County. Because I think it is a really good idea that um, the residents know how we've been addressing these issues and how we plan to address them moving forward. Well, thank you. Any other public comment? Okay. Um, with that, uh, I'm sorry. Good evening again, Michelle Arnold, Councilwoman here in Palmyra, and then I'd like to share some exciting news with you. I want to let you know that um, we are forming a task force to address vacant, abandoned, and distressed properties. We're working together now. We have five local municipalities that are working together. As you can well imagine, these types of properties are burdened on our local municipalities and ultimately, of course, on us as a county. So I wanted to let you know that we're just in the formulating stages of that, but we do have five communities that we're working with now. So I'd like to know who I can reach out to at the county so that I can share the information that we're gathering. We can join forces and help to move this forward. Would that be your answer? I think we start with that. Thank you. And Michelle, can I just ask, what are the other five communities, if you know? Mm -hmm. St. Vincent, Del Ran, Delanco, um, Palmyra, of course, Edgeworth Park, Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Any other? Anyone else in the public comment? Okay. Can you please state your name and your town? My name is Mary Jane Payone, and I live in Morristown, New Jersey, right up the road. And my issue really has to do with uh, mass transit and the bus shelters. And this summer, I was riding mass transit, and I've been riding it again very recently, and I am not a seasoned rider, but I'm starting to feel like it's almost inhumane. I've seen people standing along Route 130 in the pouring rain inches away from cars going 80 miles an hour when they're seeing the speed limit. And I'm just wondering, isn't there a more humane way of doing this to shelter people, especially on days like today? And I know this, this is a New Jersey transit issue, but it's in our towns. And I'm even thinking like repurposing things so we could build something. And if it needed lighting, why couldn't it be, why couldn't it be um, solar? And why couldn't we offer people an opportunity to come out and build these for themselves who ride 
and then maybe a discount in shopping in that particular town, or maybe a discount in riding the uh, river line or something, because <coughs> it's, just, it's all new to me, and I would encourage everybody else, to, you know, if you have a position like you hold, or just like <coughs> a professional pos position, and you ride your car daily, try it for a month. And I'm overhearing people talking about their, you know, earnings and how low meaning they are and their child support and clothing and then riding something that is less than comfortable. There's not enough announcements, like if a road is flooded out or I know you're not responsible for that, but I would imagine that you have delegates who represent the county at um, New Jersey Transit meetings. So those are my feelings and that's the reason I came out tonight. I gave a guy my umbrella for his little girl today. I mean, it was, it was ridiculous. So I just knew I needed to come and speak for him. <laughs> so thanks. No, we appreciate your comments. We'll look into that. All right, anyone else for public comment? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can uh, stand behind. Yes, uh, Jeff Clark Palmyra, and there was a recent article in the Florida newspaper concerning um, service animals and 911. And I'm blind, travel with a guide dog, and the article made reference to, um, in case of emergency, with not just me, but my, if it were just my service animal, that um, emergency services, you could call 911, and um, you could be transported to the nearest animal hospital for immediate care for the, uh, for the animal. Now, my question to you, I'm working on the local level for, with Palmyra, and they're researching it, but is there something I could do, or could we do it, work on maybe countywide? Because Palmyra's great, but my wife and I do a lot of travel throughout the county, so it'd be nice to have something in place, no matter where we go within the county, yes. to have that in place. So who could I contact uh, to, to uh, make, initiate this process? I think you would start with our public information officer, Eric Arkert. I'll give you all my contacts. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. But thank you very much for your comments. We appreciate that very much. Okay. All right. Any other uh, <coughs> public comments? <laughs> Well, um, at this point then, I will close the public uh, portion of the meeting and move on to freeholder comments. So thank you to Palmyra for hosting us, and thank you to all of the uh, Burlington County staff who makes this possible. I know it's not, not easy to do this, but I think just in the comments that we received tonight, it really just exemplified um, why we should take these meetings on the road, because we, we heard some thoughts from members of the public tonight that we might not have otherwise heard uh, just at our, our facility in, in Mount Holly. So I think it was a really good example of why we, why we do this, so we can bring the meetings to, uh, to our different municipalities. And um, you know, I'm glad that we instituted this several years ago. <laughs> and um, uh, I'm glad that Joanne's not going to have to ask about taking the meetings on the, on the road tonight. <laughs> <laughs> For those that don't know, Joanne has been very vigilant at every meeting of asking, what are we going to take the next meeting? And here we are. So, um, so again, thank you to to our hosts. Um, I'm also glad that this gave an opportunity for, uh, for example, uh, Lori Howard, who hadn't been to Palmyra for a while, to come to Palmyra and, uh, and and get to explore it again a little bit. So it's it served uh, a multitude of purposes. So, um, with that, I would just like to remind everybody Tuesday is Election Day, and I would like to remind everybody that Veterans Day is November 11th. So uh, we won't be having a meeting that Wednesday. I think we're having it the, the following day, that Thursday. So um, remember our veterans on the 11th, and please join us for our freeholder meeting on November 12th. Thank you, Freeholder Schwartz. Um, again, I'd like to thank the town of Palmyra for hosting us, and I look forward to many, many more meetings out and about, maybe even Bass River. <laughs> and I wanted to also thank Ms. Howard for coming at first with you and coming to so many meetings. 
I think it's a real good example of democracy in action, and that um, there are so many people. This is a Senator Bridge again. It's been a significant issue, and I think it really showed what one person, Ms. Howard, is able to do to rally folks to bring to our attention as freeholders problems that are out there. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Director. I'd like to echo my colleagues' sentiments and thank the mayor, the council, the administration, and Tom Ironborough for inviting us. Our staff does a great job. It's difficult for them, but I'd also like to thank all the staff in Palmyra because there's a lot of heavy lifting to move this thing in and out here. John, we're appreciative. Our pleasure. Thank you very much for coming out. Um, ma'am, I'm sorry I didn't get your name, but regarding the shelters and New Jersey Transit, I had a fair amount of experience in this in previous life. This, believe it or not, that's a local issue. The towns decide by ordinance whether or not they're going to allow transit to place shelters in their communities. Because I'm thinking you're probably specifically thinking about Route 130. So that's something that resides with them. We can have a conversation with them about that. And in terms of having volunteers build them, New Jersey Transit insists upon their structures because they endure the liability in the event someone hates one of their shelters. So they make the, uh, I've seen actually video simulations of someone hitting one of these, they just break apart so no one can get hurt, and it's done so by design. But we can take a look into um, having a conversation with transit, but ultimately the local jurisdictions will decide whether or not they'll allow shelters in their communities. Thank you. That's all I have to Thank you. Director Gargano. Um, Transportation Trust Fund. I mean, we, it, it's not just, and I think you had said that it's something that it's, it's not just the Centerton Road Bridge. When you look at the Transportation Trust Fund and what we have going along New Jersey, you know, I'm from Florence, you know, you come up and down Route 130 and you can see failures, whether it's bridges, whether it's interchanges, and every time you have something like that in our area, it chases jobs and businesses away. So ultimately, as a state, we need to find a funding source that's going to turn around and allow us to address those needs. And it's not just the Centerton Road Bridge, it's, it's bridges and roads and things all throughout Burlington County and the state of New Jersey. The 911 for service animals. That, you know what, it's, it's, it's nice to come out and you do get some ideas that I have not thought of that before. I, I, I think that's something that we can really take a look at. I mean, I think we could talk to our 911 folks. I'm sure there's probably other areas that are doing it and that would be an interesting thing if we could find a way to get that done. And the only other thing, I, I do want to thank everyone from Palmyra. It's a, um, we do appreciate the opportunity to come out and say hello. I always go back, when I come into Palmyra, I always tell one story. I go back to my high school senior year. It was my homecoming in Palmyra, Greek Florence, 67 years old. <laughs> 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 I'm giving you for that, but 67 or 6. It was a 50, great story. I think it was 56 nothing at halftime, and we were figuring we could have lost by like 112 to nothing. <laughs> Just I figured I'd throw that out there, but I, this was definitely a much better welcome back. <laughs> yeah, it's like fifteen. <laughs> Thank you. And as was uh, mentioned, uh, we do have a meeting uh, set up with Acting uh, Commissioner Tony um, November 16th. So we will be discussing uh, the fixing of the Transportation Trust Fund, as well as uh, obtaining funds for the Centerton Road Bridge. And uh, I will be reporting back after that meeting. And I also would very much like to thank Palmyra for hosting us tonight. You've done a wonderful job, You've been very accommodating, and uh, as well as uh, our staff for accommodating us as well. So um, with that, uh, I'd like to thank everyone else too for coming out tonight with your comments. Um, so uh, with that, I'd like to uh, seek a uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. my three hundred dollars. Schwartz. Um, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. 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 Aye.